Are your hormones out of balance? Well, you may be able to find some telling clues just by looking in the mirror. Here with more is Dr. Clark Hansen from the Hansen Clinic of Natural Medicine. It is so good to see you, Dr. Hansen. You. I'm Thank glad you. you're back. So this is interesting. You're saying there are signs that we can look for in our face yeah. that'll show us that we're having issues right. with our hormones. We kind of tend to think that as we age, our hormones decrease. Right. But we are actually, the, it's the other way around. We're aging because our hormones are so low. Oh, okay. So they just don't happen. It's, they're causing us to look older, so we can actually see it in the face sometimes before we feel it, but usually you feel it all at the same time. Ah. And, but it's a good telling secret, so we, we like to look at it. So what are we looking for here? What are some of the telltale All right, signs? so here's my patient, Jenny, age 54, came to see me, and this is her picture. And you see right at the top, we'll start at the head there, she's losing hair. This was her first complaint. Like, everything else is bothering her. She's got menopausal symptoms, but what really brought her in is she, all of a sudden she's losing all her hair okay. from all over, but right at the front, the top, the, the crown of the head. And then she's also got uh, forehead wrinkles that are becoming deep, eyes are sagging. That's a, those are growth hormone symptoms, deficiency. And then those crow's feet wrinkles right mm -hmm. around the eyes, that's an estrogen deficiency. The bagginess under the eyes, that's hypothyroidism, so low thyroid. That goes along with the hair loss. That's really caused by low thyroid and estrogen deficiency. And I'm sure most people looking at thinking, well, we're getting older, we just expect that all that stuff's gonna happen. Yeah, you just think, well, I'm just, like I say, getting older, but it's you're getting older because your hormones are decreasing and you don't have to just endure it. It's not just something that's a vanity thing. Uh -huh. It really is a symptom guiding you that you need to correct so that you can prevent the diseases that go along with all those hormone deficiencies. And she's a real patient of yours. Did yeah. she have any other typical signs of Well, she had all the menopause symptoms, so she had hot flashes, night sweats, and it was like two to three times every night waking up, you can't sleep. So she's fatigued, she's anxious, she's depressed, low sex drive, and the hair loss, like I said, has really brought her in. And the, the weight gain, she's gaining weight in the abdomen, which is low testosterone, low DHEA. All those symptoms we kind of think of as just, you know, life, but it's something you can address. Right. And it's not just vanity. We shouldn't just say, oh, I'm just getting older. We need to say, you let's do something about it. So what are some of the hormones that you test for then? So you need to test all the estrogens. There's three main estrogens that we test. And if you get them under control, then you can stop a lot of these symptoms, even the facial changes. Oh. You can re stop that from happening. You can't stop aging, but we can greatly slow it. So estra estriol is the good one you want to test. Estradiol, the bad one, you got to test both of them. You don't want to have too much estradiol because that can cause cancer. It's a known carcinogen. Progesterone stops bone loss, builds bone density, DHA and testosterone, increased libido. So you test integrity, for all of those? All those. And there's two important thyroid hormones that you have to test. And then growth hormone. A lot of people think growth hormone, that's just for kids with stunted growth. But we need growth hormone all our lives. It mm. helps regulate all the other endocrine glands. The sagging that goes on everywhere in the body, from the eyelids to the breast droopiness to the thighs, inner thighs get sure. sagging. Uh, bone loss, that's all due to growth hormone deficiency. Well, what kind of hormones should we be taking then? Because I know there's a lot of talk about that. Too. Right. What should we avoid? Well, we should avoid the synthetic ones. The synthetic mm -hmm. ones cause cancer, definitely. And there's been a lot of talk, so a lot sure. of women are concerned about that. So you'll see estradiol and progestin, the synthetic drugs. A lot of research showing that they do cause cancer and increase heart disease. Yeah, avoid those. So the natural bioidentical ones are the safe and protective. They actually reduce the risk of heart disease as well as cancer. And this shows you 30% decreased risk of breast cancer if you take the natural hormones. The synthetic actually increased the risk of breast cancer 69%. Sure. So we give oral sublingual powdered hormones that you can dissolve underneath your tongue, get right into your bloodstream. So that's the best way to do it. The injectables, implants, you have to use the harmful estradiol in order to make it last long enough. And because it is injected and it's supposed to be there four months, you get this high and low and up and down. And, and an incision it, made. And an incision. And yeah. it's the wrong one still. And they don't use all of them. They just do those two. And you really need to look at the whole balance. Like this patient, Jenny, in four weeks, you know, we tested her, her blood to start with. Right. And then we retest in three months to make sure we got the levels right. We don't just look at the face, we actually do the blood test. But in four weeks on the initial month follow-up, all her symptoms were gone. No more hot flashes, mm -hmm. no more night sweats. She was sleeping through the night. She wasn't anxious or depressed. She felt greater than she ever felt before. And her hair was coming, stopped falling out, and new little growth right at the front. That's the estrogen deficiency, the hair loss all over. That's thyroid. And she had energy. And that's a common story you're getting from a lot of your patients. So if somebody's watching right now, right. they're like, you know what? 
that's me. I don't want to go through this. I want to be like Jenny. Right. What, what's You have an offer right now for folks okay. to... Number one, go to the website and find out more information. Okay. There's a health questionnaire you can fill out. Find out what hormones you probably are low in. Sign up for our newsletter. When you sign up, you're automatically registered for a drawing for a free hormone test. We'll test six of the major 10, 12 hormones that you should be testing. And then we'll determine what other ones you need to test. So go to the website. Paint the picture, up. let you know kind of right. where you're at, what you need. Thank you, Dr. Hansen. Thank so you. good to see you again. And see you. glad she's feeling better, so you can too. So if you would like right. more information about the Hansen Clinic of Natural Medicine, just go to drhansen.com, or you can always call the number you see right there on your screen.